Hey, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. So, I've got some stuff here, pretty cool stuff. Knife, ammo, rifle. Some may remember I had old 9138 1905 Izhevsk carving. Actually traded it for this and a little bit of cash. And with a little bit of that extra cash, I managed to score a screaming deal on this ammo here and a pretty decent deal on this K-Bar. But uh, I guess the particulars on the rifle, it is a finish M91. Might be able to see everything on there. The light's not so great, but SA stamped. The VKT 1942. And this happens to retain the original Russian Imperial crest on there since this is a 1905 Tula receiver. It's got a nice two piece. It's kind of hard to see, it's a little dark. Blended nicely, I think, though. Uh, mortise in the stock and the phone rings and the cats have thought he wanted to help out a little bit too the bore in this is uh, really nice very nice strong lands and grooves nice fin stock uh, finished cleaning rod and it's got the sling swivels front and rear the only problem, I guess you could say, this barrel band is a little bit loose, but uh, I think it'll be fine. It's got the typical little finish uh, retaining brads in it. I guess you could call those the little screws there. It's common. They put those on there. Nice finish handguard. So, overall, uh, I think we made a pretty good trade and then the ammo was not part of the trade. Oh, I also picked up these I believe are the uh, Oberstleutnant if that's how you would say basically the equivalent to Lieutenant Colonel that I have on my Flectarn. Pretty cool. I think those are West German. So, had a buddy tell me that. Who knows a lot more about that stuff than I do. But uh, more importantly, I guess, or anyways, the best deal of the day came with this ammo here. And we can see what all this stuff says. This is a, uh, a pretty nice pack here. Some of this stuff, a couple boxes got damaged. There's a little bit of uh, rust on here. But these appear to be... Let's see if we can get a look on the head stamp here. 2 1 and 8 1. 123 grain. Practice ammo for short range is what it appears to be. This is all in German. I haven't translated any of it. But uh, I'm guessing this is the distances that you can shoot it. Maybe this is the setting that the rifle should be on. I don't know. For the rear sights. But I'll have to check into it. And if anybody knows, go ahead and uh, let me know. That'd be pretty cool. But this box is one of the worst damage boxes. Uh, so is this box. A little bit rusty inside. But those are the two worst boxes. I haven't opened them all. But if that's the worst, for 360 rounds, I only paid $20. So I think it's uh, probably totally worth it. And then the old K-Bar here. Get some light on there. I was informed this is a World War II era. I don't know my K-Bars but it's got a nice edge on it. It doesn't look like there's a lot of nicks on it at all. 
See if we can get her to focus on there. There we go. Not too bad, I think. Somebody probably used this to field dress a deer or something. Looks like a deer hair right there. It's uh, it's decently sharp, but there was no holster with it. I paid fifty dollars for this. Hopefully, it wasn't a bad deal. It seemed like a decent deal at the time. I guess I should say sheath. So I'll try to find a sheath on the cheap or else just make one. I'm not too worried about it being exact unless I can find a good deal on a, a period accurate sheath. But I think it was a pretty good conquest at the gun show today. Had a pretty good time. Met some, some of my friends there. And another fellow on another forum that I'm on that uh, I didn't even know was on the forum until we started talking about it. So, all in all, a really good day at the show. Uh, the ammo was the best deal, I think, probably at the show, out of all the deals that were had. But uh, the Finnish M91 also looks really nice. The bore is great, so it should shoot well. So for now... Marshall Zhukov, oh, by the way, I only paid uh, like 50 cents for both of those. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, Marshall Zhukov signing out.